Ag Day is brought to you by Micro Essentials, a performance fertilizer that can help you reap sizable returns. Text YIELDS, Y-I-E-L-D-S, to 31313 to download our white paper on maximizing profits. Chatter about fertilizer prices has driven a whole host of speculation in recent weeks. Everything from a lack of supplies to changing crop rotations to utilizing less, which is likely to mean lower overall yields. Well, this morning we look at how to make sure your operation is maximizing the yields in the field next season. Longview Farms in Nevada, Iowa is still learning from 2021. We ended up having uh, above average corn yields, not record, but above average corn yields and essentially tied our record soybean yields. That's despite the fact that 2021 was one of their driest years ever. And so as a farm, we're very pleased uh, for the outcome, especially when you consider that we are 10 inches below our average rainfall amount. Right now, it's not rain, but fertility that has them making plans for 2022. We have changed our crop plan for 2022 uh, slightly uh, as far as our corn and soybean mix goes. Part of it is the looking at the fertilizer situation and, and pricing. Drought and corn rootworm were also a consideration, but as they look ahead, long-term corn on corn acres are going back to a rotation. Yields and now input prices helping drive that decision. My biggest concern for 2022 is, is by far and away the expense side of the ledger. Obviously, as a producer, you look at your net profit per acre is substantially different. Bennett has been running the numbers on budgets for folks that prepaid versus those who bought in the fall versus those that plan to apply in the spring, starting with corn. Net profit per acre, $164 per acre for someone who is prepaid. Soybeans, whenever I look at a very similar scenario, and yes, chemical costs go up from last year, fertility doubles from last year, uh, $94 an acre. So clear winner, uh, corn versus soybeans. While agronomists say from a fertility standpoint, yes, farmers should put back what they removed, but this isn't necessarily the year to try to move the needle on soil tests. But if the prices are bad, you see why they are going to build up this year. Just wait and build up, you know, in the future. Malarino says this is the year for precision application and applying fertility like MP and K only to the areas that need it. If you have high testing soils or fields with a large proportion of high testing values, then don't apply there. Use variable rate and apply only in the field areas that are low. For farmers like Henry, that's the plan. Use everything at their disposal to be as efficient as possible. We at the very least are trying to do what we can to stay the course of all the different management practices and strategies we've had around purchasing and production and, and hopefully um, we'll be rewarded for that. 